fitness class three. We're gonna get started. And this, which is nice for sitting on, is an accessory. So you're gonna need one of these. You might wanna pause and get your own. But we won't need it for a while because we're gonna warm up the stretching, okay? So. I'm assuming you're back and got yourself a chair or some other implement. We'll just get the uh, hips warm, loose, get started uh, doing a bit of stuff. First thing we're going to do, usual stretches, which you should be used to by now. Pigeon, frog, couch. We're going to start with pigeon. Okay, take a 90-90, line up the front leg. Now, with pigeon, you want the front shin to be horizontal to the body, okay? A lot of time when people go into pigeon, the knee slides forward. Like that. And you actually want the knee to stay at 90 degrees. So, you can put your fist behind it and we'll go up into elevated pigeon first, all right? Just gently working the hips, bouncing up and down. Okay, now put the foot, back foot flat on the floor, slide your hips back and down, slowly, slowly take the knee down, back knee down, now try and get the front knee to come down, it might not because you're a bit tight, and then just explore the stretch twist. All the while you're trying to get the hips onto the floor. Use this glute to push down. Work the stretch a little bit. And come out. And we'll do the other side. Take a lunge, 90-90. Front foot in line with back knee. Lock the back heel. Let the foot slide out. Come up into the elevated pigeon. Just bounce. Working into that outside hip. And then push yourself down. Explore the stretch a bit. Oh, that's tight today. If you have difficulty with these, you really should be spending a lot of time practicing these in your own time. There are certain basic standards that, you know, that you should be able to get to. Moving into frog, knees nice and wide, rock backwards and forwards. And uh, if you can't really achieve these basic mobility standards, you're kind of uh, fighting against yourself, trying to learn karate. Good, good. And up. And one of the most basic standards we have is the full squat. You should be able to come down here quite comfortably and hang out. And obviously if you can't, and I know some of you can't, then this is something that you need to be practicing with the pigeon, the frog, and the couch. Hands on the floor, push the butt up. And drop down. Push up. And drop down. And last time up. And up. And hips around. Good. Okay, we'll do couch. So I'm going to disappear into the background over here. Got myself a door. Push the, I'm going to push the back knee up against the door. Bring the front knee up. Push the hips forward. Hopefully you can see me. Hello. <laughs> and come up into oh, whatever couch is comfortable for you. This is basically just getting your hips working. 
ready for the strength stuff. Swap sides. Just push. Good. And out we come. So. Let's get our chair. Let's have a right. And let's press the timer. Okay. So we're going to be doing some strength and stretching work for the hips. We've done these before versions of them. They're all good. Again, it's just to get the hips mobile and moving. So I've got that ready for you. I'm not going to use it just yet. We're just going to squat. Okay, so feet shoulder width. Squat down. Uh, all the way down, thanks. Push yourself up. Squat down. And up. And three. And four. Five and six and seven, eight, nine and ten. Easy, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Lovely jubbly. Take the feet out wider. I'm going to do key with arch. Horse, dance, and up. Okay. Push the knees out as wide as they can. Keep your body vertical and up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your hands off your knees. <laughs> Two, and off your thighs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just sit there for a bit. Just feel the warmth in the quads. Drop lower, push the knees out. Put the hands on the knees now, put the feet come out, cheek attach. Just rock side to side. Back to keep it hatch. Let go, push up. Feet together, hips around. And reverse. And check it off. Okay. So, should be getting quite warm quick. So, we use the uh, Chair <laughs> to hold on to. All right, just for balance. <clears throat> Not a lot of balance, yeah? You can hold on like this, but you don't need to. We're going to do hurdles. Okay, we've done them before. Knee comes back, round, over. Yeah? To the count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Lovely. What we do on one side, we must do on the other. So the other side, you're coming forward and down. Just like you're lifting over the chair, which you might be doing in a minute. And one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay. Now we're just going to do some strength stuff. You've got the chair for balance and support. You're going to lift the outside leg, knee up, nice and high. Okay. Go on then. Okay, once you've got it high, pull it into the chest. All right. Nice and tight to the chest. And then you want to let go and keep the knee where it was, where you pulled it. And hold, feel the engagement down in the hip. Just hold that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down you come. Up the other side. Same thing. Lift the knee. Okay, so you notice it doesn't go very high, but you can always lift it higher, okay? And engage, let go with the hand, don't let the knee drop, and hold it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down you get. Swap sides. Right. Now we're going to do a lateral lift, all right? So in karate you do lots of kicks and we point the foot towards the direction that we are going. Or even here. Yes, or well, we twist a little bit. We're not going to do that, we're going to keep the foot this way. All right? You're going to lift the leg up like you're doing the hurdle. Okay, now watch. So I lift this foot up, it comes to a point where if I go higher, I have a tendency to do this. Okay, don't do that. That's what this is for. Stay nice and tall, squeeze the butt cheeks, lift up just as high as you can, yeah? Don't lean away from the knee. Okay, take hold. Now lift, just like the front kick, and let go, and you'll feel it instantly in there, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, massive squeeze in that side. And let's try the other side. Alrighty. Tighten your glutes, brace your abs, lift the leg up, high as you can till you get hold. Nice and tall, lift, try and then push it in towards that foot, and then let go, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down you come. Stretch it off. It's an intense little squeeze, that. <laughs> okay. So, that was knee front, my Gary. It was knee kind of side, sort of in the wash ish. I'm going to do one for Yoku Gary. This time we're going to put the foot out this way. I'm just going to open the hips a little bit. Do it uh, sideways on, maybe? Okay, so watch. All right, this is the first one. Okay, so you can see how my knee is going forward of my body. All right, this next one, yeah, foot, standing foot this way, knee is in front of body. Now we're gonna put this heel towards you, camera. You lift up and you push your hip forward. Okay. 
Okay, this time, knee is in line with the body. Okay, you're gonna to have to lean away a bit. Foot, knee in line with body, hip pushing forward. All right, <laughs> just try your best. I'm not gonna need this now. Get your foot set, lift your knee up, bend the standing leg a little bit, push the hip forward. Okay, try not to go all the way up here. Yeah, try to stay up a little bit. Now we'll lift and let go and hold. Yeah, that's a good one. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten and down. Oh. <laughs> Who's sweating? Who's sweating? <laughs> Christ. All right. I'm afraid you've got to do the other side. So, foot facing that way. Standing foot facing that way. Stand up. Lift the knee. Push the hip forward. Lift it higher. Try and lean into it a bit. Engage and let go. Uh, two, three, four. Really push it forward. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> okay, so you should have felt this <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah. Right. Back to the other side. So, we're gonna use the chair now just to help us with our kicking, all right? This is, let's see if we can do this, yeah? The hurdle, up, over, and front, down. Using the chair, okay? Brace yourself. Get ready and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Every pause, get a shorter stool. <laughs> The table's on the, the chair's on the floor. <laughs> Alrighty, other side. Are we ready? Engage and lift up over one. What happened there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoop. Nine and ten. Well done. Okay. Okay. So most people tend not to have a problem with front kick apart from lacking a bit of strength. It's quite easy to get the basics of front kick. The harder ones are roundhouse, side kick, reverse, all that kind of stuff. And that's where these can be useful because they help you to practice without falling over. Okay. First thing about roundhouse kick is lifting the knee up and over. All right. Without falling over. So having something to hold can help you practice We did this drill, yeah? And now we're gonna use that just to get a feel for it. So, this is my starting side. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna lift the leg up behind you. You're gonna twist forward on the ball of the foot, standing foot, and back. Forward and back. All the action's happening down here. Up, forward, 
back there. Okay? Slowly to the count. Forward and back, one count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. And swap sides. Try not to use it too much. Try not to lean too far. Try and keep your upper body upright. Slowly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And rest. And we have some chairs, eh? Okay, so that's a drill you can do just to get used to that lifting the leg and spinning on the ball of the foot. Yeah, fully committed, goes forward, or alternatively, it comes forward and back. Okay, now we're going to use the ch chair in front. Is that right? Is that what we're doing? I'm going to do it for a side kick. And this time, I'm going to lift the leg. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to lift the leg straight up and down. Okay. This is just a drill to get you used to lifting the knee up. From behind you. So standing leg is quite bent, body weight through it. You lift up and down. Up and down. Alright, get used to that to begin with. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what sides. All the weights through here and lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Put the chair away. Come into a wide straddle. Down you come. So, all of that is just over to one side. Warming things up, it should be getting quite warm. Other side, down the middle, oh. down forward, oh. middle, other side, Move a little bit wider, push down. Under the heels, sit down, straddle. Now let's come forward so you can see me. Ugly mug. In your eye. Okay, down to the right. Over to the left. the middle. Well done. Keep it going. Up. Hand on the floor. The hand reach. Well done. 
Feet in tight. Butterfly stretch, just bounce the knees. And up we get. Okay, so. I'm gonna do the drills properly. We've done these drills before. These are all just getting your hips strong. They're kind of kicking drills, but they will affect the rest of your karate. They're good for that. All right, so. The knee is high. The standing leg is slightly bent. Higher. You're gonna kick down, point the toes, and pull back up. Down, up. All right, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Swap sides. Knee high. Kick down and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good, swap sides, knee high, you're going to kick middle level and back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, good, swap sides, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap sides. Now, you're going to kick as high as you can. Okay? Without dropping too far that way. Okay? So as high as you can. And back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and swap, and lift, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down you get. Chair away, wide straddle, down into, well, as low as you can. Gently bounce. Push into either high hamstring or a version of a front split. Gently bounce. Stay with me. Back to the middle. Gently bounce. Over the other side. Get into position. Oh, Bernie, Bernie. And out you come. So that was fun, wasn't it? This is our basic strengthening drill, yeah? Now we just do versions of it. So we've done low, middle, high, all right? This next one, you do one count, three, three heights, low, middle, high, yeah? Each time the knee comes back, okay? So we don't want to see. One, two, three. Goes one, back, two, back. Three, back. Yeah. So, you're going to do five, which is 15. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Easy. Swap sides. And lift. Same thing. One. Oops. 
two, three, four, five. Excellent. That fun? That was fun. Okay. <laughs> we'll do the least stress in a minute. Could repeat that, but this time we're going to stay high. All right. Take that as high as you can. You need to flick the foot ten times. Ready? In your own time. Go. Not too fast. Okay, catch up and swap. Other side. Nice and high. Ten times. Girl done. Down you get. Over the chair. Back into the straddle. Turn into split or hamstring stretch. Back into straddle. I swap side now then. You have to just work them. If you're having difficulty with these, there's a reason this is called fitness class, all right? These are your aspirational goals. Back to the middle last time. Come onto the heels. And up. Hips around. And reverse. Okay. Now we've got to do some big stuff. Okay. Oh. Again, knee high. Okay, we do this slow for people. Okay, so the first kick we're going to try just as high as you can. All right, is a roundhouse, which is snap. Okay, then the leg comes around. This is practice for Urimo wash. You don't need it, most of you, but some of you might. Let's do it this way, uh, this way, so you can see the difference. Comes straight out and round. Okay. Some of you might be down here. Just try and get as high as you can. Those that are flexible, work the height. Just. Okay, yes. <laughs> it's a ghost. Okay, we're nearly done. Nearly done. That was my <laughs> hurry up moment. Okay, so we're just to do straight round. Okay, one count, two moves. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, a little burn. And over the other side, lift, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
Eight. Nine. Ten. Yummy. Breathe. Put your chair away. So you surely he's got to finish. Yes, we're finished. Okay. Come back down and put yourself into pigeon. Which should be oh, a bit easier. Apart from the bits that have worked. Oh. Okay. Push the hips down. Squeeze that glute. Lift the rib cage. Lengthen the spine. Lift into the camera. Say, this feels wonderful. And mean it. And come out. And swap to the other side. Down you come. Just find your position. Stretch it out a bit. Okay, push back, squeeze the back glute, nice and tight, lift the ribs, lift up, you don't want to be over flexing your lower back, you should be keeping that, that's why you tighten and lift the ribs, smile and say, oh that's mighty fine, fine that is, oh, and relax. And back into frog. Just walk backwards and forwards. Last time. Side straddle, side splits, whatever you can do. Sink. Feel the stretch in the groin. Accept the stretch. Relax, don't go so deep that it feels like it might tear. Always know your limits. But, ooh, feel that work. And slowly work your way back up. Ooh. Hips around, other way. Side to side. Thank you very much. Enjoy walking the rest of the day.